The basketball team at the University of North Carolina, Charlotte, they're called the Mean Green, will play tomorrow in the NCAA semifinals in Atlanta. We say that matter-of-factly, but in Charlotte, it's anything but that. And John Martin has the story. It has a campus that didn't exist 20 years ago, a converted dairy farm cut into the woods here outside town, a school so new it was still borrowing this high school gymnasium to play only seven years ago, a university so new that most of its traditions aren't much bigger than a beer mug or a concert in the quad. But it has been winning big. The Mean Green, as Charlotte calls itself, almost won the National Invitational Tournament last year. And last week, in regional playoffs, it knocked off Michigan, the top-ranked college team in the country. The star, Cedric Cornbread Maxwell, six foot eight, an All-American from a small town on North Carolina's coast. The coach, 39-year-old Lee Rose, his last job two years ago at a school called Transylvania in Kentucky. When the team flew home Sunday to Charlotte, 5,000 people turned out to say, well done. This week, hundreds of people camped out to buy tickets for the championships. And Charlotte, after years of feeling a little forgotten as a small town down south, Charlotte began to feel very good about itself. You know, show the Charlotte right up there with everybody else. Everybody, you know, they said they couldn't do it, and they went right out and did it. This was a beautiful city. Uh, it just needs something like we've had happen here to wake up people to realize that. This shopping center bar is about as close to a sacred tradition as anything at the new university. Students come here to blow off steam and listen to the owner, Jim Haas, tell how it was in the old days when the school opened. This week, some players signed autographs here and sipped beer. Nobody sang the school fight song because hardly anybody knew the words. But even townspeople who don't follow sports were getting excited. Charlotte has already come a long way. It is one of the country's biggest trucking centers, 150 firms headquartered along its highways. Nearby, 40% of the country's textile mill workers turn out fabrics. It has skyscrapers and all news radio and traffic jams and urban sprawl. But the basketball team is the biggest thing yet. The university has spent about $600,000 on the sport in the last four years. Earning a lot back and getting so good, some bigger schools have refused to play it. It's a go for broke type of situation with us. We have no pressure on us at all. We uh, have had a lot of fun doing it, and our players enjoy playing. So what's happened here is that with hard work, hustle, and some money, a small school, ignored by some of its bigger rivals, has gotten itself mad enough and proud enough to think it can win the national championship. This morning, the team took off for Atlanta to prepare for tomorrow's game. And back in the city, a bus driver said he knew they would do well for the school and the city. UMCC was kind of like Jimmy Carter. They weren't heard of a year ago, but so was Jimmy Carter, but he's president of the United States now. See? Good luck, team. John Martin, ABC News, Charlotte, North Carolina.